Hello everyone, today I'll talk about the parts of the sewing machine. You do not need to memorize them. This is a reference video you can come back to whenever you want to know the parts of the machine I am talking about in future videos. Please click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you will know when I upload new videos. Thank you. There are important parts that are common to every sewing machine. The more complicated machines contain extra parts that enable them to do more things. Even when two machines have exactly the same number of parts, these parts may be placed in different positions on the sewing machines. Because of that, I'll be showing you three different sewing machines in this video. Hopefully, one of the machines will be similar to your own sewing machine. Hand wheel. This is the first part that moves when you press the foot pedal of a sewing machine. Once it moves, it sets every other mechanism in motion. The hand wheel is also used to manually lift the needle. For instance, when you want to thread the needle and you find that the needle hole is inside the needle plate. On some sewing machines, you can also pull out the hand wheel to prevent the needle from moving up and down when you are spooling a bobbin. Foot controller. This is what you use to set the sewing machine in motion. Foot controller jack with power switch. This is where you plug in the foot controller. Beside it is the power switch for turning the sewing machine on and off. The switch also turns on the lights of the sewing machine if the sewing machine has a light bulb. Reverse sewing lever. When you push this lever, the machine sews in the opposite direction like a car that is reversing. It is used to reinforce stitches, usually at the beginning and the end of a sewing line. Pattern selection dial. This is used to select a stitch. You can turn it in the clockwise or anticlockwise direction to select the desired stitch. You choose your stitch over here on the pattern layout and dial to the corresponding number over here. Stitch length dial. This is used to adjust the length of the stitch. The lower the number, the tighter the stitch.
Next, we move to the top of the machine. Bobbin winder. These two up here make up the bobbin winder. You insert the bobbin in the bobbin winder spindle. Push it to meet the bobbin winder stopper. And when you press the pedal, it rotates, winding the thread onto the bobbin. Some sewing machines have a diagram for you telling you how to place the bobbin. Like this one. If it is not here, it will be in the manual. Spool pin. This is the pin that holds the top thread when sewing. You put the thread there, then thread the sewing machine from there. Thread guide. This is the thread guide. It usually has two parts in the advanced sewing machine. One part is where you pass the thread if you are winding it on a bobbin. While the other one is where you pass the thread if you are threading the sewing machine. Again, on this sewing machine, there is a diagram with arrows showing the direction you should go when you are winding a bobbin and when you are threading the machine. The thread guide is basic on the bright sewing machine. Stitch with doll. This is what you use to adjust the weight of your stitches. You will notice the difference with something like a zigzag stitch. The lower the number, the narrower the zigzag stitch will be. The higher the number, the wider the stitch will be. Upper tension control doll. This controls the tension of the upper thread. The higher the number, the higher the tension, and this causes the upper thread to be loose on the fabric. The lower the number, the less the tension and this causes the lower thread to be loose on the fabric. You can see that on this machine, the upper tension control dial is here, while on this machine it is here. Thread take up lever. This pulls the thread from the spool and fits it to the needle. It moves up and down with the needle.
needle a sewing machine needle weaves the upper thread through the fabric being sewn needle clamp and screw this holds the needle in place and positions it well Presser foot. This holds the fabric in place as it is sewn. Presser foot lever. This is used to raise and lower the presser foot. Lift it up when you want to remove the fabric and lower it after placing the fabric to start sewing. Feed dog. This part of the sewing machine is used to control the motion of a fabric. It moves as you sew and it grips the bottom fabric to help it pass through the sewing machine and produce a high quality stitch. When the reverse stitch is pressed, the feed dog moves in the reverse direction, thereby moving the fabric in the opposite direction. Needle plate. This is the flat metal plate under the presser foot that covers everything under the presser foot. The needle goes into this plate to pull up the thread from the bobbin. Flat bed attachments. This is used for storage, hence, serves as accessory compartment. Slide the flat bed attachment to the left to open it. When you remove it, you will see the bobbin compartment. Bobbin. A bobbin holds the lower thread. The lower thread and the upper thread work together to sew the fabric. Bobbin case or bobbin capsule. This is a device that the bobbin is inserted into. It is what gives tension to the lower thread. Bobbin holder. The bobbin holder houses the bobbin case in the lower part of the sewing machine. Bobbin cover. This is the cover for the bobbin compartment that protects that area from dust. Thread cutter. Not all advanced sewing machines have this thread cutter. So if your machine has it, fine. If it does not have it, use a scissors to cut the thread. One of my machines has it, but I don't even use it that much. Slide plates. On some sewing machines, the bobbin is fed from the needle plate area. 
if that is the case the machine will have a slide plate which you can easily slide to remove the bobbin case now if you have this kind of machine you will also have the legs that support the machine cabinets in the leg frame you have the foot pedal the wheel with a belt that is looped to the balance wheel it also has this pitman rod that connects the foot pedal to the band wheel crank such that when you press the foot pedal up and down the sewing machine is set in motion this manual option in a sewing machine is useful when nepa takes light <laughs> In my next video, I will talk about how to thread a sewing machine. Please be patient with me. Let me finish with the basics before we start sewing. Thank you.